hey guys welcome back to a new video man if you're new to my channel please subscribe um i need more subscribers like the video guys <coughs> so today i'm gonna be uh, talking about uh the main differences between the alpha mindset and the beta or just the alpha male and the beta male guys you know the two uh the, the difference between those two you know the major differences guys you know so right off the bat um the biggest difference between an alpha male and a beta male is that the alpha male has abundance mindset guys you know so abundance mindset so what i mean by this is like generally a beta male would feel will be in scarcity he lives most of his life in scarcity guys you know <clears throat> He thinks there's not enough resources to go around. He thinks there's not enough money to go around. You know, he thinks there's not enough jobs. There's not enough for women. There's not enough of everything, man. It's always in scarcity. Everything scarcity. Scarcity money. Scarcity food. Scarcity everything, guys. Scarcity women. You know, like living in scarcity is not is not is not just like a bad thing. It's not it's not just what a bad it does, but it's really bad for your mental health, guys. You know, because scarcity. It's like you're putting yourself in a mental prison, guys, you know. And you should always, always, always try to get beyond scarcity, guys. And one way <clears throat> I could give you advice on how to get over being um, being better, like getting over scarcity, guys, is uh, to tithe, you know. What tithing is is basically just giving away 10% of your income, you know, to a church, you know. And um, there's this guy, uh, this investor called Sir John Templeton, you know. <laughs> he, um... He passed away, but he was a billionaire investor before he died. You know what happens between during now? Uh, what, what the way he made his money was during World War uh, World War Two. You know when uh, Hitler invo when Hitler invaded. You know, and then Japan got bombed. You know, so what he did he, he took ten thousand dollars <throat> and brought every stock on the New York Stock Exchange, which was a dollar or less, guys. And um, just a few years after the war everything started to get back to normal you know because people always think when things things are bad they're gonna be bad forever and when when things are good people think things are gonna be good forever guys you know but life is like seasons always up and down guys you know so after the war guys those same stocks made him a billionaire guys you know <clears throat> like he bought the cents for like 98 cents now today they're like 63 dollars guys that's like a three thousand percent return guys you know so he developed the his he he, de he developed a belief during that time that you make most of your money in maximum pessimism, guys. You know, and even like uh, Warren Buffett is saying, he says he wants to be greedy when people are fearful, and he wants to be fearful when people are greedy, guys. You know, so that's some some good things to think about, guys. You know. <clears throat> So yeah, the first thing was scarcity, guys. The scarcity mindset, guys. You know, always, always try to escape scarcity, guys. Do not be in scarcity, guys. It's so bad for you guys, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, guys. You know, because with the things you're doing in scarcity, you're like, I mean, like, there's so much things like today, man, like social media, which just makes us promote scarcity for us, guys. You know, so the best thing I would advise for you guys is to take care of yourself, man pay attention to how you're feeling like when you're around certain people pay attention to how you feel man all the energy you put towards like um celebrities instagram and other people's life and women and all that stuff man just take that energy and put it towards yourself man put that full energy towards yourself guys then just watch your life get better guys you know so your your control your attention is the most valuable thing and your time is another invaluable thing, guys. So your attention is really important, guys. So it's really important what you do with your time and your attention, guys. You know. So <clears throat> yeah, those are the two differences between. Uh, that, that that's like one of the major differences between an alpha male and a beta male, guys. Is the the mindset of scarcity. Like the alpha always knows, like there's always enough to go around. There's there's no limit to how much money you can make. <clears throat> And there's no limit to anything, guys. There's no limit to how much wealth you can create for yourself, guys. You know, we're living in an abundant world. So don't be in scarcity, guys, you know. And the truth is, a lot of these beliefs which we have, guys, uh, like the scarcity, the limiting beliefs, they were passed down, they were hogwash, passed down from thousands of thousands of generations of years, guys, you know. And, um... <clears throat> You know, the good thing is to start noticing these behaviors in yourself, guys. Because once you notice them, you can change them, guys, you know. I personally am working through a lot of this stuff as well, bro. Because um, 
I was I was born and raised in a third world country, guys, you know. So it's inevitable that like when I was growing up, you know, because they say between the ages of one and eight, that's when the mind gets programmed, you know. So I think um, that's when I got programmed, you know. Um, and during that time between I was one and eight, I was um, around people like in scarcity, man, you know. So a lot of that got downloaded into my subconscious mind, guys. And um, there's actually a few a few ways to fix um, uh, the, this limiting belief, this scarcity beliefs in your subconscious, guys. Um, one way is through meditation, guys, and being consciousness, guys. So if you're conscious of it, you want you you'll be able to stop it, guys. You know. But there's an there's another easier and simple way, guys. It's called um, holographic repatterning, you know, or this body talk, or EMDR, or psych k guys you know psych k is the one which i'm most familiar with guys you know um there's always workshops around guys you can go online and look up uh, psych k p h c y k online you can look up the workshops guys i think it's like um one week workshop guys and what they do is they, they do pro they have like these programs to help you like eliminate all the negative and scarcity mindset beliefs which you have in your mind guys you know and they they like push the recording they push the recording button in your subconscious mind to tie to start like because like at the same time as we were like seven or eight you know they, they they can get your mind you can they can get your mind in that state where it starts to record and taking in positive and then deleting all that negative um all those negative disempowering self-beliefs and actually empower you with positive um abundance beliefs you know so that's a that's another thing to look at guys if you really want to change your um <clears throat> your your scarcity mindset guys you know and another difference between uh, the alpha male and uh the beta male guys is um wait so the first one was scarcity guys yeah and the second one is uh the alpha male is independent guys you know he doesn't rely on anyone to get the job done you know the the um the beta male is always relying on other people you know is always waiting for other people's approval guys to do things you know the alpha male you know he focuses on what he can control what he's here to give guys and um he doesn't wait for permission guys you know there's a saying you know Act now, apologize later. Don't ask for permission, man. Just apologize later. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know, because <clears throat> the truth is, no one's gonna come and give you like permission to do anything, guys. You know, you gotta, you got. That's that's why that's why being a man is, man. Being in your masculine frame, guys, is like courage, bravery, man. Doing things which scare you, guys. Just doing them, you know. And people who like to complain and like wait for other people, that's a feminine trait, man. Like that's what women do. You know, so if you're a man, you gotta watch. Uh, you gotta make sure you're always in your masculine frame, guys. <clears throat> you know, and you always have to develop. Uh, you gotta develop the mental maturity, guys. You know, and um, you gotta be careful about like so many distractions in your life. Distractions, you know. You gotta the alpha, like um, he doesn't he doesn't copy what other people are doing per se. You know, because when you do that, you're denying yourself of your own journey. You know, so what you should do is be focusing on yourself because everyone is unique. We all have our unique journey in this lifetime, guys. You shouldn't be trying to emulate like different people, man. You know, because that's denying you of your own life, bro. You know. So the best thing to do is just to pay attention to how you feel, you know. Be selfish, you know, with your energy, with your happiness. Because the truth is you cannot help anybody, guys, if you cannot help your damn self. You know, you can't give food off your table if you don't have any damn food to eat yourself, guys, you know. So that's another important thing to think about, guys, you know. Just be um, focused on what you can control, guys, you know. Ignore the other stuff, guys. Do not be in scarcity, guys, because that makes you better, guys, you know. I think, dude, like, look at this. There's, there is more women than men in the world, guys. So I don't understand why these guys are being in scarcity, guys. You know, there's more pussy to go around, man. You know, there's so many. There's more women than guys in the world, guys, you know. So there's no need to be in scarcity with women, you know. Like, if it... Yeah, the other... Yeah, yeah, this is another big thing with an alpha male, guys. If a girl rejects him... 
he doesn't take it personally man because um most of the things in life is all about timing guys you know maybe when you approach this girl maybe she just broke up with her boyfriend for 10 years and bad timing man you know but if you had approached her like six months from now she would have given you a chance bro you know so yeah the um the other major difference between alpha and beta is the mindset of rejection guys when you get rejected guys you know the beta male just gives up and like oh they're all slurs they don't like me that this and this the one chads you know but in alpha like nah man there's still like a hundred more girls there's still like a billion other girls man i don't care it's just one girl guys you know so that's the abundance mindset i'm talking about guys you know so those are the two major differences guys you know between the alpha male and the beta male you know so to recap the first one is abundance the alpha is in abundance is not in scarcity like the beta male and the second is the alpha male doesn't take rejection personally guys you know it's all timing guys you know the same with life man and like in business guys you're always gonna face rejection guys this is just life man you know so I would advise you to start taking care of yourself, man. Paying attention to how you feel, guys, you know. And that's all I have for today's video, guys. If you're still watching right now, guys, I love you so much. Please, 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 please subscribe to my channel, guys. I really need your support, guys. It tells YouTube that you're loving my videos and you want, you want me to continue shooting these videos for you guys. And I just love dropping, like some wisdom for you guys some advice man this is the timeless advice guys you know so yeah guys thank you so much have a great day i love you all god bless